Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Thanks for joining me today. Happy freaking Friday. We are gonna spin the wheel here in a second, but today we're talking about wheelchair Rapunzel and this craziness. She has responded to me, sort of, clap back, I guess you could say, and the wormhole is insane. Of all the creators I've ever covered, nothing comes close to this. I mean nothing, and it's just the beginning. Okay, so this is absolutely bananas, the things. Tuna towel, like what? Anyway, it is Friday, and so if you are on a membership or on my Patreon, Every Friday I spin the wheel and the people who are above the first tier get on and you can win a prize and so we do that here and then we get on to the snark. Yeah, baby. Virginia Miller, you reach you win a prize. Reach out to Josh at the Dad Challenge Podcast. Dot com with your shirt size and your address and I'm gonna hook you up. Otherwise, let's get to this video. No, that's what the tuna towel is for. Thought that was obvious. No. That's what the tuna towel was for. Thought that was obvious. I love unpasteurized orange juice or pasture. I don't know what you call it. It's like freshly squeezed, really expensive orange juice. I get it when I'm sick and I just vitamin C the crap out of my body. So delicious. So if you were here the other day, I did a video on wheelchair Rapunzel. Just did a video just basically talking about her and DCFS being called and everything else and just skimming the surface. I don't know a lot about her, but in the last couple of days, holy shnikes, I've learned a lot about her, okay? We're gonna cover a few videos here and we're gonna cover her response in her Instagram that she went on and cried while trying to sell t-shirts. <laughs> it's crazy. But before you do that, make sure you head over to my wheelchair underscore Rapunzel underscore Reddit. I'll try to link it below if I remember, but that's where we're getting, that's where we can share videos and posts. The other wheelchair Rapunzel Reddit is spelt wrong, first of all, but second of all, they don't post photos. I don't know if they're allowed or videos and stuff like that. And so they're not even allowed to mention my name on there. I am Voldemort on that. It's hilarious because they have to talk about it because she's responding to what they're not allowed to say DCP or dad challenge. It's like, that's the rules over there. It's crazy. Anyway, I digress. Um, but this is blowing up and it's blowing up in wheelchair Rapunzel's face. Now, it's hilarious and very, very sad because the more I find out, the more scary this is for Ari. And that's basically the gist of my channel, right? And not everything, but it's the gist of it. I, I, I am the voice for these kids who don't have a voice. So try to be anyway, right? And there's lots of people out there doing what I do. And thank God for them. Okay, but Wheelchair Rapunzel is becoming quickly one of the worst I have ever seen when it comes to the exploitation of this child. And now I'm learning endangerment and massive amounts of neglect. So since dropping that video, I've learned that when when uh, she, well, I'm actually gonna show you the, the DMs as well that she reached out because she shared them. I would not be sharing these DMs if she didn't start sharing them. Because when I talk to a creator, that's kind of a thing I'd say. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not here to like share our DMs unless you want me to, but she started sharing them. So I'm gonna talk to you because she only showed you a little part. I gotta show you the whole conversation. But since then, I've learned that Noah was is a vapor. He's a drug addict. And uh, she was really upset that I said that she does drugs. Okay, and it's gonna be funny because when you see her video, you're gonna be laughing with me, okay? But she got upset with me, she got in my DMs and she talked to me about it. Um, but before we get to all that, I gotta show you these videos that people have been sending me. Um, this is one by Teacup Bug, and it's a Wheelchair Rapunzel Disabled Controversy Pregnant Reddit, and this is uh, just like basically a, a compilation of her being a butthole. Okay, so watch this. <laughs> Person's identity, it's really as simple as just asking them how they identify. I mean, that's anybody. Why is it just disabled people? That's that seems silly. Why would you say it like that? Again, don't forget there's someone in the bathroom filming this extra person while she's calling them out for using a bathroom that they're completely allowed to use. I hate that she did that. She's such a gross person for doing that. This way, 
-hmm. Anything for views, right? This is it. This woman will stop at nothing to get views and she will use her disability. She will use her child. She will use her party life. She'll, there's a video that someone dropped that she went on this dating thing and it's so cringy. There's a lot of cringe and she capitalizes on the cringe. Thank you, Thank you. That's what I always do and they never catch me. Ain't nobody gonna catch me. All right. So she's using her disability to cut lines and stuff like that. It loves going to the club. Like, it's just a great experience. And my most favorite thing to do in a medic club is run over all the fuck boys and then pretend it was an accident. And then they so her favorite thing to do is go clubbing because it's fun and run over the F boys and pretend it was an accident. You can't get mad at the disabled girl. I could get mad at you. If you run over my foot, I can get mad at you. Why don't you watch where you're rolling or whatever? <laughs> One of the main questions I get from people is, have I ran anybody over before? Okay, let's... Your child, probably. Do the math on this one. And so she's admitting that she runs people over and has a child that crawls all around the apartment. Wait till you find out what I found out. Like, you have no idea what's about to come. Wheelchair Rapunzel, I know you're watching this. You have zero idea of the things that I now know. You should have just kept your mouth shut. Together. I've been driving a wheelchair since I was three years old. I'm 26 years old. 23, 23 years. I've been driving for over 20 years. That's more years than y'all have probably been alive. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I have run over many people. Why is that funny? Hands, fingers, toes. Hands, fingers, yeah. toes. So when I'm fucked up by the fact I get this really weird disability entitlement where so she says, when I'm effed up, I get this weird disability entitlement. So when she's drunk, she's saying. I'm like, let me meet the fucking DJ. I'm disabled. Why wouldn't you let me meet the fucking DJ? Just let me. And I'm like, honey, this is basically my make a wish. Like, just let me meet the fucking DJ. So she's... Don't forget what she is saying. If she calls me ableist and people do, and it's like, I had, all the snark I have on her has nothing to do with her disability, by the way, but she does it. She says it, right? And that's her right. But basically, she's throwing like make a wish kids in here. You know what make a wish is? It's for kids who are dying. You know that, right? It's make a wish foundation is for children who are terminal to to, fi to fulfill their wishes and dreams so before they die. And she is not terminal. Okay. But she's like, this is my make a wish. Like, that's gross. Okay. So I don't want to hear anything. Please. Like, you have to. I'm disabled. <laughs> and so I've tried to pull this card two different times. Uh, to meet G-Eazy, and they fucking wouldn't let me. Like, come on, dude. Like, all I wanted to do was meet G-Eazy. G-Eazy doesn't want to meet you. G-Eazy, if you see this, I love you. I just wanted to meet you one time. Ew. We're to Rapunzel. You're a disgustoid. Okay? You're a disgustoid. TM. I made that word up. Oh, also, there's this video. You guys get effing ready. Okay? Just get ready. I had to see this, so you all have to see this. So her and Noah decided to do this video too, which is like, again, you have to understand like this as an adult, cool. Make the jokes, be crass, do whatever you want. Make porn, I don't care, whatever, right? As soon as you bring children to this world, everything you put on the internet is going to affect your children. And so you gotta be really careful of what you do, right? And you also, again, she is the queen of cringe, okay? And so she creates this stuff. I don't know if she's on purpose because I don't think she's that smart, but look at this video of the cringe and listen to what Noah says. About me one day, I mastered this glam bubble. We started talking on set that, and I found that he was in rehab. That's nice. Oh, you're in rehab? Let's get together, shall we? <laughs> Sounds like you're a winner. So I moved into halfway, finally came over to her house, and then we had sex the next night. There is no syncopation. You're not on the beat. You're not. You have no tone, no rhythm, zero. What is this? I thought it was just gonna be a hookup, but I ended up really liking him. And then we became codependent, and I got him kicked out of halfway. Imagine saying things like, "Then we became codependent." What? That's so romantic. I'm glad that your child was born out of codependency. That's crazy, everybody. Three different times. So the relationship started progressing and then we started to get really close. And then one night I came in her vagina. I 
am cringe. So this guy's sitting here with his coat saying one night it came in her vagina and he's holding his vape pen. Literally can't be without his vape, which is likely full of weed or tobacco or whatever, whatever. Apparently there's lots of vape pens, different ones. Apparently. That's what I'm saying. When you find out what I'm saying. I should have wore, wore a condom, but F condoms, he says. Yeah, that's nice. I'm glad you influence people. Real great. Real great. But F condoms, this guy says. And then I was like, oh my God, I feel weird. Let's take our pregnancy test. And then I'm like, oh my God, I'm pregnant. So we moved out to Michigan. Uh, we are living here so fucking happy. So we moved out of Michigan and I'm living here so effing happy. That's the end of the video. That's the end of the video. That's now they're in Florida. And if you don't anything know about no one, I, I know barely enough about this guy, but I'm learning. Um, he's an addict and he's been in and out of places. His parents are terrible. Her parents are terrible. Her like, they're like, I can't, I wish I could tell you everything I, can, I know right now, but I can't. So I got to keep it kind of like locked down, but it's crazy. Okay. This guy is an addict. He lives there, lives on the, sleeps on the couch because he takes care of the child, takes care of the child. <laughs> Not really. Um, Alex, who was wheelchair Rapunzel, hires caretakers. And uh, yeah, that's what she does. That's who watches the baby when the caretaker is there, takes care of the child. Noah doesn't. Okay. it's This guy is crazy. This woman, I, I can't say, I don't want to say things, but I can't. So anyway, we'll just have to wait until that other video drops. Okay. Um, but basically, so... I covered her getting calls from DCFS and, you know, then she responded with this stuff and I want to show it to you. I want to be very open and honest with you guys about what our conversation was and because she shared it, I'm sharing it. Otherwise, I normally wouldn't. Okay, so I reached out to Alex Dacey and I said, I'll be covering your story starting tomorrow and I guess you can't send two messages. The other message didn't send, so I said, I'd love to have an open dialogue is what I said. Then she said, hello, I just saw your video. I happened to be Googling my name to see if I could find my online shop. Like, that's too much detail. Okay, if you're saying the thing, it's not the thing. I'm going to relaunch and your video popped up. I'm about eight minutes in. I have a, had a very prosperous career for years on social media without showing my child. And I was doing OnlyFans before I gave birth. Unfortunately, due to the extreme fatigue and health toll my pregnancy took on me, OnlyFans was a main member of income. Who's buying this stuff? If you ask anybody in my life, I have not wanted to do it for a while now, but unfortunately, I need to make a living to support my family. I also do not do porn. Hmm. Mm-hmm. OnlyFans is porn, so that's semantics, it is, okay? I post content that I would otherwise post years ago on Instagram, lingerie shoots, boob shot here or there, you'd post boobs on Instagram? Okay. I do not post my child for clout, and and if you go to the Reddit thread where I'm going to read the thread about her, someone bought her OnlyFans, it's not just her boobs. I do not post my child for clout. Yes, you do. I want to educate the public about being a disabled mother, but again, people like you will just make assumptions about who I am as a person, and I guess that's just the nature of the internet assumptions eh? We can see with our eyes though i don't need to make assumptions when i can see however you did make some false statements about me that are damaging to my image and i would appreciate you removing the video i'm not sure where you got information that i drink all day and do drugs i do drink socially with friends on occasion just like any other adult however i do not do drugs which remember she said that okay i said i'm wondering if you can talk about parenting as a person with disabilities without showing your child that was my question to her and then she said, she responded, and I responded to, however, you did make some false statements that might be damaging. I said, I didn't say you drink and do drugs all day, but there is evidence out there that you are reckless with alcohol. You did say I do drugs and drink a lot. I probably did. Okay, because what you show to the world, we are making assumptions based on your content, which is exactly what's happening, which is well within the rights considering you are a public personality. It's the bad with the good. I tell you, it says to all creators, you got to take the good with the bad. Okay, I got a lot of haters too. That's, that's the way it is. It's good and bad. I think it's hilarious. Are you not scared of what your child will go have to go through with the pornography you create, their future? We see this a lot with kids whose parents do OnlyFans and they are relentlessly bullied and some even think about suicide because of it. She didn't respond to that. She said, do you ever think about the content you make and these assumptions you are putting out to the internet to your 200 whatever K subscribers you have about creators and how these assumptions will affect them? Yeah, I do and I hope it affects them. Meanwhile, you are monetizing being a bully. I have not put out anything that has suggested that I do drugs, so I'm not sure where you're getting your intel. Remember, she says this, okay? Drugs. Do you ever think about the content you make in the assumption? I said, yes, and I hope it does affect you. You clearly, you clearly have no qualms with exploiting your child and have zero care for their future. So yes, I hope it hits you. She says, I've not put anything that suggests I do drugs. And I said, I'm sure I was talking about Noah, but timestamp it where I said you do drugs and I'll correct it. But I don't have to because she, again, you'll see in a second. So then I sent this video, which is the video we just saw of the, the rap. 
I was like, why do you still have this on your platform? Are you gonna tell me I don't care about my daughter's future? You're a joke of a creator. You are literally monetizing on me and hating on me. Do you see the irony? Nope. But you'll, you'll, my, fa my haters will be like, he's ex re-exploiting. They call it re-exploiting. So when I cover a story with these kids in it, they think I'm re-exploiting the kids, which is bullshit because every news channel out there who puts out news about certain things, then they're exploiting. So if that's the case, whatever. Okay, fine. But you got to cover it so you can see it. I don't make fun of these children. Okay. These children are the ones who don't have a voice. I only got about a minute into your video and there was like two ads monetizing heavy. That's just how YouTube does it. Sorry. You have children and you are publicly dragging a single disabled mother. There she is. She's bringing it in, right? There it is. There's my, I'm going to lay down my victim card. You're going to have to accept this payment. And I'm going to have to tell you to go F yourself because I don't give a shit about your disability. This has nothing to do with your disability. And when they lay that down, that's all they have. Hey, and you know, she's been doing this her whole life and I'm not, I'm not putting up with it. I'm sure they would be proud of you. I'm, and I'm proceeded to make a Reddit about me. She's drunk. You should focus more on parenting instead of telling people they're shitty parents. Like, I, why people, like, don't tell me how to parent. I don't exploit my children. You have children, uh, I'm publicly dragging a child exploiter. You don't get to claim disability on this one. It has nothing to do with what you're doing. Don't worry about my parenting. My kids are amazing and loved and not exploited. Worry about what you're doing and showing on the internet and how it will affect your child whom you claim to love so much. People know you are public figure and people want to know who your kids are even if you don't post them and they will know what you do for a living. Okay. Hello. How do I exploit my child? I'm like, are you, I hope you're joking. How do you exploit your child? Can I ask an honest question? I said, are you drinking right now? Because maybe sober up and then come talk to me so you don't regret it. You just went live to complain about me and mobilize your fans against me, which is hilarious because I love that. I had no idea who you were when I saw the video and I did a bit of research on my own. Well, my friends, apparently multiple people are trying to get to you shut down because you are a shitty human being and creator and makes things up about other families and views. Disgusting. I don't make up anything. I give you my opinion on your content that you put on the internet. I don't make up anything. Okay. Well, I wish them luck. Hello. Nothing I say is a lie. My opinion is based on your content, which you freely put out there for people to comment on. Honestly, finish your bottle of wine, get some sleep and then come back to talk to me. Nothing I say is a lie. It's my opinion. I think you're the one that has been drinking. She doesn't know me. For your child's sake, stop making porn. I said, I don't drink. I grew up with a mother like you. So I see right through your bullshit. When I ever, whenever I ever post anything, I do drugs that you posted that you were, there is nothing I have ever posted of me doing any sort of drugs or saying that I have a drug history. Alcohol is drugs, by the way. You're just as bad as this petition says. I'm going to read you the petition in a minute. And she mobilized a lot of people to sign it. I signed my petition. <laughs> in the video, you said alcohol and drugs insinuating something other than alcohol. Then I posted this video. I said, how many signatures is up to now? 500? It was like 300 at this point. Um, she says, I took a category X drug during my pregnancy, right? Dude, are you joking? You realize that is a prescribed medication that stops the progress of my rare disease. You're a joke. I said, just saying you, I'm just saying you put this out there as clickbait, except expect people to make assumptions. You are an alcoholic. You have a problem. You need to help. You need help and you need to be a better mom. You are caught out in public going drunk at the mini mall. People are calling you out wherever you go. And then I reacted to her funny story. I says, I have a question for real. Are you pissed that your snark form on Reddit spelled your name wrong? <laughs> I was at a birthday brunch with friends. People will think what they want. You were at a birthday brunch at 8 a.m.? Birthday brunch? That's called breakfast. And no, you weren't. And then I showed her the picture of her. Someone said she was doing zoomies around the parking lot. This doesn't look like brunch. Again, please take my advice, sober up, and then let's have an adult conversation. That was the brunch I was leaving from. It was right behind me. It's called Little Hen. I lived down the road from there and I was stopping in Publix to grab some errands and then went home. Hello, funny how the internet distorts the truth. Yeah, okay. And then she did more stories. I laughed at her. Can you confirm? Can you please stop messaging me and go make some shitty video YouTube videos? Yes, I will. I will stop messaging her now. That's our conversation just so you guys have it in full disclosure, what we wrote, what I wrote back. She's obviously pissed that things are being exposed. So here's the petition that she posted. <laughs> She got it up there. It's like when I saw this last, I think it was like 300. Okay, it's got 2,100 signatures right now. I'm about to be canceled, everybody. But this is what my Laura Niskanen, Niskanen, Niskanen. This is what Laura Niskanen says. This podcast is run by a Canadian who is trying to ban family influencing vlog channels from YouTube. That's true. A lot of spelling mistakes, but it's true. I was trying to get people canceled, but I just want people to take the kids off. The host, Josh Barber, feels that the children in their parents' vlog channels are being exploited by their parents. True. Josh will go great lengths by harassing, stalking, cyber bullying. 
cyberbullying, doxing the in influencers who form the channels with their children to force them to quit to be canceled. YouTube. This person it might be having a stroke while writing this. Joshua subscribers for his YouTube channel for the Dad Challenge podcast are believing his lies. My lies that children are being exploited? I hope you have some evidence to back that they're not. Joshua will make videos on TikTok, spelt TikTok wrong, about influencers to make his subscribers believe what that what's in the videos Joshua makes are what really goes on in the influencers' lives. Joshua's podcast content is false, so he gets views and he does the in complete opposite than he than what he feels needs to happen. Put a period in there with influencers that are doing the same thing he does. He has does. Has he does. So oh, let me read this again. Joshua's podcast content is false. So he gets views and he does the complete opposite than what he feels needs to happen with influencers that are doing the same thing as he does. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> anyway, I signed it. So, uh, of course you got to sign it. You got to sign your petition. If you don't sign your petition. Are you even real? Um, but here's what happened. So here's the big friggin' uh, deal. She did this live. So she went live last night, and I think this was, uh, I don't know who recorded, oh no, this is from my mod, uh, My Beavers, who's amazing. Everybody shout out to My Beavers, she's incredible. Um, she recorded this, this is like at night. I think it's like at 10 o'clock at night, and we can go to the, we'll go to the forum and talk about it, but this is pretty late at night. Cartoons blaring in the background. This child probably is not sleeping, and she gets upset because she watched my video, and she keeps reiterating, okay? that I was Googling my name for my, she, don't forget all this is a big front to sell her shitty merch. So don't forget all that. She took this opportunity and you gotta give her credit for that. She took this opportunity to sell merch. That's what she did. So watch this. <laughs> Stay positive girl, you're doing awesome. Maybe you can come down to Fort Lauderdale and hang out. Thank you guys. What happened? People are upset. Worry about you and your daughter. Raise her the way you want. Don't listen to anyone else. I was just this man made a video about me. Like, just like, it. I saw it just like a bad fucking time. She's hammered, by the way. She's absolutely plastered here. I think her drink of choice, I'm not even gonna say it. Not even gonna say it. You'll have to wait. And half the shit he says is just like ridiculous anyways. I don't know why I'm like this upset about it. Yeah, why are you so upset about it? Why is it ridiculous? Look, people are like, Dad Challenge Podcast, Dad's Challenge. But it's just like all the shit I've been hearing. DCP is correct about you. Like, they're all shit like. So anyway, she's lying about, she Googled herself. What was happening in her comment section? Everybody was commenting about my video. That's what was happening. Okay. And then she was like, who's this? And then she went and found me. And I definitely like came to the realization the other day. It's like my behavior, how I've acted, like I just haven't felt myself and um No excuse. You don't get to be like oh, I haven't felt myself, so I'm gonna completely neglect my daughter and treat people poorly and drink and party and vape around my child and smoke around my child. I know she doesn't smoke, but people in her house do. Right? You don't get to just claim, oh, you know, I make porn and all that. You don't get to sit here and be like, what was me for all the stupid choices that you made in your life? It doesn't work that way. You're an adult. I'm pretty sure I've like had like some pretty intense uh, postpartum depression that I never really. No, you didn't. Because you would have exploited that situation on your channel a hundred times. She's just, again, this woman only knows how to play the victim card and she said it in the video. I will use my victim status to get things. I will run over people. I will try to get in touch with famous people like DJs and I will I will laugh about it. I will preach people in bathrooms. She uses her victim status and she, it has gotten her where it's gotten her and it has worked so far. It ain't gonna work on me because I don't give a shit. Got therapy for something like that. And maybe that's why I just like have it by myself. And by the way, <laughs> I had 77,000 views on the videos, but that's where I kind of peek out on new videos on people generally. It's pretty high for a video. And it, when she did this video, I got an extra 15,000 views on it, so. Um, it can last for a while after you give birth. I'm not using that as, as an excuse. But yeah, you are. You're using that as an excuse. But I genuinely have not felt myself in a really long time. So in order, when she doesn't feel herself, what she does is she drowns it out with substances. That's the problem here. That's the problem I have. That's the danger for the daughter. And again, this woman who's claimed that she's ran over a bunch of people, 
running around her apartment doing zoomies drunk all the time. That's pretty dangerous too for a child that's crawling fingers and things. Okay. It's pretty dangerous. And don't forget the, the, the amount of people that sent me photos of Ari, her daughter and the scratches and marks on her body is astronomical. The amount she posts of that too. So I've gotten many, many, many pictures of this child with many injuries. That's really scary. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just like trying to pick myself up and every time I do, which I have been this like past week, I just, I just see this grown man, uh, father apparently. At least she didn't call me an old guy. Just making a whole ass YouTube video. Um, it's a whole ass video. That's, I'll, I'll give her that. It's a whole one. It's a whole ass. To all of his whatever subscribers, to a 30k or something like that. It's fucking dragging me from saying horrible, untrue things about me. Mm. Uh, yeah. It's hurtful. Okay, is this child trying to sleep with like Coco Melon blasting in the background? How can you even function? I know. Yeah, he reacted to your videos with the comments. Never had mods. Never uh, had mods. Nobody heard of him until you said something. It's true. I'm sorry you're sad. Never had mods. Uh, People are so damn rude. You're incredible and such an amazing mommy. No, she's not. Stacy with three, five C's. She's not. She's a terrible person. Um. Yeah, 13,000 people in this chat, by the way. <laughs> the YouTube video. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, so you guys are just joining. I, uh, I Googled my name. Here comes the lie. Because I relaunched my website after like, oh my god, it's been down for probably four years. I used to sell uh, apparel and I've been working my ass off like recreating uh, merch. No, she hasn't. Working your ass off. And um, I, I launched my website and I like, was going to do like a big video to like read. So this is her pitch, by the way. She's not upset that I made the video. She's using this moment to be like, good, I finally have something to talk about. This guy made a video about me. Oh, I'm selling shirts. That's what she's doing this for. Launched. I mean, you can't, you can't. hate the player. Don't hate the game, I guess. Like, and so I went to Google my name to see how far it popped up in the Google search to see like people can find my website and shit like that. And that's how I found this video that this this like i guess he's a youtuber podcaster um made about me two days ago um i didn't even watch the whole thing and i was just like yeah you did I just feel defeated so, i didn't even see that mean <laughs> and i didn't even know anything that i know now at that moment so oh my gosh just you wait <laughs> It's all the shit. I have family shit. I have personal shit. I have baby daddy shit. I have career shit. I have hater shit. I just all the shit just it's a lot of shit. piles on top of. Maybe then make better choices with your life. Get off the internet. Go do something different. Okay. I hate when they complain about their lives that they make so much money on the internet and they then they go turn around and complain about it. When there's the easiest solution for you is to just. STOP DOING IT, MORON! It just keeps piling up. I'm not trying to be like, oh, woe is me, but... It yeah, you are. Every time she, like, does the woe is me, she's like, not trying to be like, use my thing, but yeah, yeah, you are. This is exactly why you just did that. It's like, fuck. It's good to, like, let it out. Let it out, let it all out. Even if she's talking to you guys. Feels good to just let it out. Let it out. Just like, let it out. Oh, this is a video. I had 77k views. She's like watching it while she's doing the video. She's probably watching it while reading the subs. Um. Uh, My dad's a wheelchair user. Best dad ever. Don't doubt yourself. 
Did your dad do what she did? Uh, the dad. <laughs> What's the video called? We will all go report it. <laughs> Challenge podcast. Thanks for the shout out, you idiot. You idiot. Uh, if you guys want to keep the video, hey, thank you. If you already hate me, you would probably love this video. So, are you sure you want? To... Again, it was at seventy-seven thousand, and then she did this video, and now it's at eighty-seven thousand four hundred thirty-three. <laughs> okay. You guys should. Go peep it, I guess. Go peep it. And they did. They peeped it. Ew, don't snort your snot and swallow it. But... I probably will take a break from online, not even kidding. Shit. You should take a break from online forever. A lot of weird color hair in these comments. <laughs> You're making me cray. You should write a book, they say. This is really weird, man. They say how you can cry out. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. And then she did these. I think I think she's still on her stories. Actually, she doesn't block me, which is kind of weird. So these are all the stories that stayed up. And so we're I'll go. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show you what she says. This is the craziest thing ever. People assume that I can't take my own baby. I'm a disabled mom. Of course, people call DCFS on me all the time. Just you. I'm a disabled mom. Of course, people assume my daughter is going to be my caregiver. Okay, so here's... <laughs> I, I make fun of anybody. I don't care if you're in a wheelchair or not. If you turn a camera and pretend to cry on Instagram, you deserve people to be like, you're an idiot. Ugly cry. Sorry. I just went to search my name in Google because blah, blah, blah. I found this video podcast YouTube maybe two days ago. Essentially, he's just bullying me in an hour-long video that was I was only eight minutes in. How do you know it's an hour? I've never heard of him before, but apparently his platforms are about tearing down people that exploit their children. This is like, yeah, that's exactly... Don't forget that exploit their children. A friend of mine did a digger deep and apparently there's a petition to get him taken down off the internet, which I signed. Here it is. I don't know where they got the picture of me, but it's not bad. He literally monetizes off bullying families and giving false information on those platforms, but doesn't tell me which false information. Well, she does. She says it's drugs, but hold on. And then she posts, <laughs> this podcast is runned, runned. He essentially bullies family. Here's the petition. I was initially really upset and I had no idea who this man was, but after my friends and family dug deeper on my behalf, this man is actually quite scary. Ooh, Canadian scary. He seems to hate women and regularly has turned his channel into degrading mothers and their bodies. Not mothers, child exploiters, because you don't get to call yourself a mother if you exploit your child. Hey guys. Okay, um, now listen to this. Okay, listen to this. I just want to say thank you to everyone who has taking the time to look at my story, sign the petition. I am kind of like taken aback by all this that has happened tonight. I was relaunching my merch for the first time in four years. And Stop saying the thing! And I stumbled upon this video and no, you didn't. found out all this information. I had no idea who this guy was, but after further kind of digging, it seems like this man is like a bit scary. Am I scary? Um, so thank you guys for signing the petition, supporting me. Um, no one's supporting it. Just weirdos. It seems like I'm his newest uh, target. So I don't know. I'm not going to stay silent though. That's for sure. I sure hope you don't. Since I posted, we have over. 200 people that have signed, which is crazy. Sign um, it. I'm not the one that created it. A family. Whoever created it can't spell for shit. Hey friend, showed it to me like, hey. She's likely being reached out to by Ames, my stalker, by the way. 
because as soon as anybody does a rebuttal or I'm I, I do a video on them, Ames will reach out to them and be like, I know so much. Let me help you. That's what Ames does, by the way. And Ames lives in Florida. Like, there's other oh, and Ames has been trying to get that video taken down again and again. She will not stop. Did, I, did she get it taken down? Let me take a look. Nope. It's still up. Yeah. It has uh, 127,000 views on it, too. <laughs> Sorry, Ames. As aside from everything. I Oops. The people that are worried about this, too. And after watching this video about him, it seems as though... Um, this man regularly slanders minority groups. Sure hope you have a receipt for that. I regularly slander minority groups? <laughs> you better put some receipts out. Um, specifically disabled people. What? I regularly slander disabled people. That's news to me. But the majority is all women. Um, no. Um, no, majority. Sure, I'll give her that. And I'll show you some of the DMs that went on between him and I. I already showed you all these. I did not watch the whole video that he made on me, but I did see a part where he said, um, oh yeah, she drinks and does drugs. Okay, I just... <sighs> Get ready. And after I saw that, I was very hurt because... He's slandering me. I don't do drugs. I, I mean, the only thing I've ever done besides drinking alcohol is smoke a little bit of weed. <laughs> I cannot believe she said that. I'm not joking you when I say I was on the toilet watching this. I kid you not. I'm on the toilet because that's where she deserves my time. That's, I'm not going to give her more time. And she says this. He's slandering me and says I do drugs. But all I've ever done is smoke a little bit of weed. Now, I have a question for you guys. Now, I know that weed is like, you know, it's it's very, it's legal in Canada. Is weed legal in Florida? It is against a lot of smoke marijuana in Florida. Marijuana is currently only legal in Florida for those who have medical marijuana. Well, she might have that, but I doubt it. It is currently illegal to smoke weed in California, in Florida, everybody. So she does do drugs. And even if it was legal, even if she does have her America, medical marijuana card or whatever, it is still a drug. It is classified as a drug. Is weed a drug? Here we go. Cannabis, also known as marijuana or weed, is among other names, is a psycho is a psychoactive drug from the cannabis plant native to Central South Asia. It's a drug. So she says, she, I kid you not, she's upset with me for slandering her for saying she does drugs, and then admits that she does drugs. You can't make that up, everybody. That is amazing. Um, I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. So the fact that on the internet, on his big platform, he's <laughs> claiming that I do drugs is very odd. Uh, Listen, Alex, I, I, <laughs> you need to stop drinking, okay? You just told us that you do drugs. You're upset that I say you do drugs. And the way that you tell us that you're upset is that you admit you do drugs. <laughs> Damaging, per se, to my career and my image. I don't do drugs. Yes, you do! I don't like drugs. Um, yes, you do! Um, and then he said, oh, because you posted this video. <laughs> That's all you have to say with that? You say, Come on, man, you're better than that. And she, so, so there oh she, she gets excited now. She's like, I'm so happy I'm selling shirts now. That's what she did this for. Oh, my gosh. I have so many emotions right now. I got my first two orders on my online shop, and this is bringing up so much nostalgia. Shut up. Accessibility is a human right, not a privilege. Nice merch. A lot of you are also that. asking what my new merch is. Oh. There it is. So that it was all about a big, honestly, it was just a big push about her merch. Now, I want to go to the Reddit thread. I'm not going to tell you what it's called. So this one was posted on a thread on Reddit. And this is gross. This is how on this video. But this is what she does. Okay. For several months now, there's been an endless speculation over Alex's OnlyFans page and the things she posts on there. No one has been able to confirm or deny most of it, so I decided to take one for the team. And don't forget, she says that she only posts a titty pic once in a while. Anyway, enough of my blabbering, here we go. She made her very first post October 2021, and her most recent was in February of this year when she was still pregnant. So she was still pregnant. 
Her comments, tips, likes were most active towards the beginning of her time on the site and have dwindled all the way down as time has gone by because her page is not what she makes it out to be at all. Subscribers. I did not see a total number of subscribers on her profile, but the amount of tips, likes, and comments she received paints a very clear picture. Out of all 121 posts, pics, video, and audio, 93 have received zero tips. The most likes she's ever gotten is a single picture is 153. The, the most commented is 19. Type of content. Pics vids with Andrew Hahn, the rapist she has repeatedly defended, which we're going to get into that someday. She tagged him in a few things, but his page no longer exists. Pics vids with Noah. The first one is the same naked pic she posts on you with of him blow drying her hair. The second pic shows her topless and him standing behind her holding a thong. His face is not shown. And in the third pic, you can see her backside and his hand covering her chocolate starfish. That's, that's I don't even want to read that ever again. About half the pictures she has posted in general are body shots wearing lingerie or being topless with her nipples edited out, which has led to a few of her subscribers calling her out on it. One of them is a comment saying, feels like bad baby, bad baby all over again. And those who don't know her, she's a rapper that started only fan page and soon she turned 18, but it was all bikini lingerie pictures. On another post, two others said, can I get my money back? Scam and LO, I'm not paying 45 extra to see that. She hosted one PPV pay-per-view event via direct message over a year ago, which I'm assuming was a failure because she never did it again. Here's the most disturbing content. A close-up of her unshaved genitals under a thong featured a strange clump of dried up crust coming out of the side, which spread into the inner thigh. So she says she doesn't post that stuff though. A picture where she's wearing a little bracelet that's made from one of those jewelry crafting kits for young children. It consists of small pink and white beads with four bigger beads in the middle saying FMRN, F me right now in bold capital letters. Now I understand why it took her weeks to remove the disgusting pedophile tags she had on IG because those are the pieces of shit she's trying to cater to and that gut-wrenching picture proves it. Andrew giving her bath and scrubbing her body with a loofah while she has purple hair dye dripping down her forehead. Her dog is in one of the pictures where she's laying down with no clothes, censored privates, trying to look seductive. He's sitting behind her looking like he wants to bolt for the door but is being forced to stay put. I can only imagine what that poor animal has seen. We're going to talk about the animal. Okay, we will. A photo shoot where she's laying in a blanket surrounded by different vegetables and a zucchini being held up to her open mouth, resting in the tip of her tongue. A video where she's on a balcony with Andrew and some other guy and she looks like she's just punched in the mouth. Oopsie, she said casually as Andrew shows viewers the other guy before zooming in her busted bottom lip that had turned dark purple. She looks wasted and no explanation was given of what caused her lip to look like that. Feet pics. And then her pricing and everything. So she does. This is what she does. This woman has zero shame. And brought a kid into this world like irresponsibly wasn't planned and it brought it and, and it, again as you see involving very scary men in her life and at very minimum all of them are addiction issues she has addiction issues she's claiming that she does drugs she drinks every single day from what i've heard okay she is a problem and the wonder dcf has been called and she left all that out of her dcfs videos none of that's in there it is so crazy when you find out what i found out and you're going to find out really soon Okay, because this is the craziest story I've ever covered on here. And I'm going to say this out loud right here. Alex, Daisy, whatever your name is, you don't deserve to have a child in your home. You cannot take care of this child and has nothing to do with your disability. Zero to do with it. You don't deserve this child. Noah also doesn't. You guys are crazy. And no wonder the, the authorities are there all the time because they can see too. And that's crazy what you've done. And I know you're all upset with this and people are going to call you out, but you deserve it. It's what... You just, you're a terrible person and you, and it's too late now to go back. You're disgusting and this child deserves better. Okay. Everybody take a deep breath. Get ready for some piping hot tea because it's coming your way. I got a scoop and it's going to be big. And I think Alex knows too. So it's getting crazy. The things that I found out. Oh my gosh. Anyway, thank you for being here for these tough conversations, guys. I think, I think you're amazing. You're incredible. You value and you protect your kids. And that's what really matters. Thank you for spreading these messages and being here with me throughout all this. I appreciate it. And I will see you when I see you.